Here we have a KLNE Sun Teams 1.5 kilowatt inverter. Now this one's having an issue for the customer as we have a look at the screen. It's totally blank there. There's no lights on, no fault codes, no, uh, run, no normal run light and nothing on the LCD either. So uh, the first thing to do if you, are, if you do have a situation like this is to uh, check that all the circuit breakers are on. So here we see the, uh, the DC isolator that's in the on position there. And we have the uh, AC isolator which is in the on position. Now this system here, um, even if the AC was turned off, the, uh, if, the, if it's got DC power there should be something coming up on the screen. But in this case here you can see there's nothing at all. So what we can try and do here is reboot the system. So we'll just turn off the AC, then turn off the DC, and just see if possibly the uh, system will reboot when we turn it on. So I'll turn it back on. So we'll leave it for a few seconds, and then we'll try turning it back on. And it doesn't matter the order turning uh, back on, but it's always important the order turning off. Always turn the AC off, then the DC off. So let's see here. So as you can see on the here on the screen, nothing's changed. The screen is completely blank. No LED showing. And you can see here on the side the actual model number of the inverter, and it also has a serial number. But unfortunately, with KLNE not being around anymore, the uh, serial number won't help you because there's no warranty with these systems. So the best thing to do in this case is replace the inverter. Now, um, saying that though. If it was coming up with a blank screen like this, it could be an issue with the DC uh, feeding into the inverter. There could be a problem with, a, with either the uh, isolator or a problem on the roof. So uh, when an electrician, you need a solar electrician to come out and actually check that there is actually DC voltage getting into the inverter. But in that, this case here, I've already done that and there's definitely no, uh, well there definitely is DC voltage getting to the inverter but still uh, nothing happening on the inverter. So we're going to have to replace this inverter with a, with a good quality inverter, which has got a full warranty. Look, you could get this uh, inverter fixed, but it's in reality, it's going to cost you over $500 to get that, uh, get that sorted out. And um, why spend that type of money on something which is an inferior product, which isn't going to have any warranty still? Might as well pay a little bit more and get a good quality inverter with a full uh, warranty. So look, I hope that's been helpful for you. Helpful for you. Um, I'm sorry if you do have a KLE &E Sun Teams inverter and it is playing up, but uh, look, the best thing to do is bite, bite the bullet and uh, get it sorted out as soon as possible so you can get your solar power system back, saving you money again. Thanks very much.